Hey guys, Nook Crusade here once more with Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles. And I broke something. I don't know what. Let's see what I remember. So somehow I appear to have broken how OBS records my audio, so I didn't know <laughs> until everything had gone wrong. Which, you know, is just the way things go with me. Who knows? So, yeah, this is going to be the final story of the base game. And it's one I've been saving. I haven't even looked at it. I know what it is. I got what it is in the name. But that's it. I haven't looked at this. We're going to learn it together, so. Soul of the Navy. The final squad story. Episode 1, Reminiscence. Uh, I'm going to presume this takes place during... Well, there's only really two times it can take place, when the paratroops are coming down and during the Battle of Capital, which I forget the name of. Reminiscence! Oh, these damn kids. Aha, uh -huh, the chief engineer himself. Something the matter? You're looking a bit down. Some kind of problem over in the engine room? No, it's not that. I just tired myself out yelling at all the rookies. <laughs> Ever the strict taskmaster. But I suppose it's your way of showing you care. You can cut that out. Anyhow, what brings you here? Oh, Brian's just looking for some room to vent. Sounds like it's not easy being first mate. Don't call me that. I've told you, I'm a navigator and nothing more. But you're first made in spirit. You know every detail of this shit, don't you? I know we had reports of a patient actually fleeing the sick bay the other day. <laughs> Was that true? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Sharp ears. Yes. He needed bed rest, but he claimed he was fit for combat. These new recruits need to take better care of themselves. They keep pushing themselves to their limits. Hmm. Seems like you folks have your hands full, too. True, there are criticisms to make. But it has to be said that we have some fine soldiers on our side. Especially the ones who just joined us. In Squad E. So this takes place just after Squad F is destroyed, huh? Those kids? Well, I suppose I got my eye on a couple of them. A bunch of untested rookies, if you ask me. Especially the commander. I hope they don't slow the captain down. All right. The good captain's the whole reason you joined this crew, wasn't he? Well, the chief engineer's been working with our captain for long enough. Any old stories to share? Ha! Do I got stories? Let's see. Oh! Hello there, everyone! It's still weird looking at him, and all I see is Brock. <laughs> with the eyes. <laughs> Open your Huh? Well look at that. Not every day I see you off the bridge. Captain, we were just talking about you. No wonder it's his burning. About me. I can't imagine it was a very interesting conversation. Ah, don't give me that. We're talking about the captain from hell, right? From hell <laughs> I'm sorry. I all I imagine is, is Professor Fardsworth from hell, you say. I remember some rumors like that, but I never really believed to shred you say. Well, these days I'm the only old coot yelling on this ship. But the captain and I used to be real different. He was the one roaring at rookies. Nobody stood up to him. I had to stop him before he made grown sailors cry. Yep. Never listen to him. His way or the highway. So folks started calling him the captain from hell. See? Yeah. Yeah, see? Andre. That's enough of that. <laughs> yeah, all right, I can take it. Yet. Don't want me digging up your dark past, huh? Something like that. I can remember it fine enough on my own.
That concludes the report, Captain. I understand. Much obliged, Mr. Wallace. Uh, it, it, everything all right? Something on my face. A scar. The fact that you can't open your eyes. Oh, uh, I'm uh, sorry, Captain. I've just I've been hearing rumors about your past. All that Captain from Hell business. Yeah, of course. Andre's word travels fast, I see. So it's true? I have to say, it's difficult to imagine. True to the last word, I'm afraid. I was a foolish man, Mr. Wallace. I thought I could do everything alone. But you won't get far in this world fighting by yourself. You need comrades to see your goals through. Our soldiers on the battlefield. Our crew upon the ship. They're all invaluable allies to me now. As frontline combatants, we'll do our best to win victory for us all. And to protect our crew. A fine sentiment, Mr. Wallace. <laughs> but you ought to know that if disaster ever strikes, the crew can take care of themselves. What are you... Can I just say, quickly, this is still my favorite track in this game. Like, this track is honestly just that one track for me. Captain, we've received a transmission from the recon team. They've spotted the enemy up ahead. The squad is ready to move out. Thank you. We'll prepare to support with artillery. Mr. Wallace and his squad seem to be struggling with those enemy troops. The Imperials are moving strangely, like they're trying to draw the fight out for as long as they can. Oh, now you notice. What was that? Reporting. Imperial soldiers have infiltrated the ship. We have currently engaged them near the reactor. So, the party on the field was a decoy. It'll take time for Claude's troops to get back to the ship. We don't have much choice then. I suppose we're going to have to deal with these infiltrators ourselves. I'm ready to join the fight, Captain. Sergio and Andre should also be on the ship. Rendezvous with them first. I'm counting on you. Aye, aye, sir. So this wasn't long after class, uh, class Squad E joined the ship. Still, this is going to be interesting, because I know Andre is a Lancer. So what's a Lancer going to do indoors? This mission is an urgent one. You don't say! Imperial forces have made it into the Centurion's engine room. We believe they're targeting the reactor. Eliminate the enemy before they reach it. They've only sent infantry, so equip that- thank you. Equip <laughs> Dr. Mus- How am I going to say this? Muscular? With a mortar lance. Thank you for telling me bluntly! <laughs> Keep them out, nine turns pass. No one does. Ah. I can't do that from here, can I? I wish they'd give you just the ability to edit your loadouts right there. Instead of making it so you have to deploy what you what you got. Because it doesn't make sense. You can just go back here. It, why? Okay. <sighs> right, also, um for I didn't keep any of them, did I? Yes I did. I am very doubtful that I'm going to A rank this. Considering it's a nine turn limit and they're saying push them out, it can be done. Oh yeah, what's the mission for? 
kick the infiltrators out of the engine room. Brian, Andre, and Sergio all share a duty to keep the enemy away from objects while staying alive. Oh, it's here. Uh, steam points. Let's begin the operation. Brian, Sergio, Andre, the whole crew is counting on you. So do we get the other two? Those imp bastards. They think they can waltz right into my engine room. Now they got me angry. And they're going to have to pay the price. <laughs> I wasn't expecting we'd have to fight the good fight ourselves. Luckily, I've kept a steady workout regimen for precisely this scenario. Ready when you are. Please don't do anything reckless. Our goal is to protect this ship until Squad E gets back. I know, I know. You're joining in this time, huh? I went through Marine training. I can handle myself in a firefight. <laughs> I'll go screwing this up now. Let's go. So keep them out of there. So I've got to keep them off the bottom deck. These shocks are what's going to cause most of our issue. I think if I shoot you, get you out of the way, I can then move down here. Would you mean hitting you two with a lancer, that Harrigans? What am I facing? Level 25 still. You're the other one that's going to cause me issue. That's more efficient to break through. Okay, good idea. Start us off simply. Let's get moving. Uh, situation doesn't look that bad, actually. Yeah, let's go. Can so you get away with this? Over here, Cowboy. Ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Probably could have taken this shot sooner, but. Yeah, rifle grenades. Come on, cut me some slack. Twelve guns. Dude, I made that push with Sergio now. It's gonna be risky. Sergio's got HP to spare. Right, if I can break through, you know a thing or two about poison. I can break through and get um, further along. Questions are you going to have the range? Uh, it's enough. Good. We can go down those stairs. Which bring us down to here. Scout's got an eye here. So way around this side would you get us into the back of you. Which I think has got to be your priority. Keep your guard up. Let's go! I found them. I hope I can actually get there. I'll admit, there's a risky play no matter how you look at it. Uh hi. Can you hold this for me? Fire. Thanks. Can't relax quite yet. That's where I've got to get settled. We have no shock troopers. Brian, why are you actually armed with a brown? Seven shots will do a number to them. I'm still paranoid about this scout. Paranoid about you two as well. I think moving Sergio. Mm, Sergio's not going to make it this time, is he? 
we'll get one move, Sergio, a bit. Of course. I don't think I've got the movement to hit these two. At the very least, I can do a bit of denting of the stairs. Try that there. Bingo. Stairs might be blocked. That's both a blessing and a curse. I do want that shot out of the way. Right now, we're probably looking at a one turn loss. The enemy has That's a. Oh god, that was a heavy rifle. I think I can, I can try it. <laughs> it's a shame we're losing! <laughs> yep. Oh, fire. Uh-oh. Yeah, surprisingly, it's just helped me out. I had to turn for the trooper next to me, but because he, he stood there, he's actually put himself out in the open. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. That's game. Actually, no, it's not. I can revive it, can't I? I love all of these get downs. <laughs> if Brian keeps this up, he can hold that. <laughs> just, just stares at his, as his comrade. It's like, you could have shot me! Okay, priority one, get Sergio back on his feet. I need to take out this shock trooper. Priority two is secure downstairs. Priority one we can deal with extremely easily. It's just... A risk. Go for it. Oh no. Ah, flip. I. I'm gonna restart. That's a wipe. That's a loss. We ain't fixing this. I might be looking at this the wrong way around. I wasn't just saying that. 